If you feel like your energy is running on empty, even after a good night's sleep, your mitochondria might be waving the white flag. These little powerhouses are what keeps every cell alive and humming, but our modern lives drain them faster than we realize. Today, we're adding to the series on optimizing your mitochondria, those incredible little energy factories inside every cell, and how to help them thrive, not just survive. I'm Dr. Rose, the Primal Professor, and today we're talking about three sneaky everyday habits that quietly drain your mitochondria and how to fix them. Habit number one, skipping real food for convenience. Let's start with the obvious one, but it's the big one, I think. Ultra-processed, low-nutrient foods are like giving your mitochondria cheap fuel. Sure, it burns, but it smokes, sputters, and leaves toxic exhaust. Your mitochondria thrive on nutrients like magnesium, B vitamins, and CoQ10, all of which come from real food, not vending machines. So here's your strategy. Every time you eat, think, is this food building energy or borrowing it? Add more protein if you're uh, keto, leafy greens, and healthy fats. That's your mitochondrial repair kit. Habit number two living a constant stress loop. Chronic stress is like running your mitochondria on max 24 seven until they burn out. And we've all been there and we have different times in our lives when it gets better and other times where we can't do anything about it, it gets worse. But when cortisol stays high, it signals your cells to conserve energy rather than produce it. Over time, that energy lockdown shows up as fatigue, brain fog, and even stubborn weight gain. So here's your strategy. You can't avoid stress, but you can close the loop. Simple practices like deep breathing, taking walks outside, getting sunlight on your skin. Tell your mitochondria it's safe to make energy again. And remember, it isn't lazy, it's cellular maintenance. Habit number three. Missing the movement sweet spot. Here's the tricky one. Too little movement and your mitochondria get sluggish. Too much and they get fried. Both sedentary living and overtraining both cause mitochondrial dysfunction. The mitochondria multiply when you move, but they also need time to repair. So here's your strategy. Mix movement with recovery. Lift something heavy a few times a week. Take walks after meals and give yourself permission to rest. Think of it like interval training for your cells. Push, repair, and repeat. So here's the takeaway. Your energy isn't just about willpower, it's about cellular care. Feed your mitochondria, lower your stress, and move in rhythm with your body. And if you do that, your energy won't just come back, it'll stay. And before you know it, other people will be noticing your skin looks better, you have more energy, your mood is better. If you missed my Fat Friday video, Turn Your Fat Into a Furnace, we talked about how beijing your white fat actually increases your mitochondrial activity. And in Biohack Thursday's episode, Why Cold Exposure, a Game Changer for Energy and Fat Burning, we explored how cold activates those same burning pathways. So if you're serious about optimizing your energy and metabolism, watch those next. They're all part of this mitochondria optimization series. And if you want to take it even further, grab my Keto Made Simple ebook. I'll leave the link in the description below. Until next time, I'm Dr. Rose. Stay primal, stay powerful, and take care of that mitochondria of yours. All right, I'll see you tomorrow on the next Daily Spoonful.